Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, I'm originally from San Luis Obispo, California. Oh my goodness. And you went to I did. I did. Uh, 2014. Yes. Hi. This is only olive oil I it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I'm going to be giving a demo for the crepes. Yes. So this are these are lentil crepes, red lentil crepes with spring vegetables, ricotta cheese, and a lemon vinaigrette. Great. Yeah, we can we can have people come on over. This is very very quick. I'll show you what I have here. These are blanched peas, just blanched asparagus, ricotta cheese. This is a Bellwether Farms ricotta cheese from Northern California. And this is a lemon vinaigrette, just a lemon vinaigrette. While I'm waiting for my pan to heat up, I have my crepe batter. That's just garnish, just garnish, just chives and parsley. And then this is what we'll be tasting over here as well. Okay, very good. And crepes are very easy to make. Uh, it's a very thin batter. I like to add a little bit of protein to it by adding ground lentil flour as well. So there's not only flour in here, but ground lentil. Swirl it around the pan. About two, two ounces worth of batter. How do you know when a crepe is ready to flip? Does anyone know? There's that as well. But you see it turn opaque. So you see how the batter was really glossy, but see how it's starting to turn opaque? That's how you know you're ready to flip. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Great. So this is an induction stovetop. If you have a steel pan or a pan that contains iron, it'll work with an induction cooktop. So how do you know? You wonder, I have a set of pans at home. These induction cooktops are great. They're portable. I can take it anywhere. Does a refrigerator magnet stick to your pan? If a refrigerator ma magnet sticks to your pan, it'll work with an induction cooktop. So you see how this is nice and opaque? There we go. There we go. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three of these, and I'll show you the plate up. It doesn't take very long, about 20, 30 seconds per side. I'm just going to do three. The first one I use a little bit more oil because I want my pan to go. There we go. It's, there we go. About two, two ounces. And then you're going to twirl the pan to thin out the crepe. And you're going to leave it until it starts to turn opaque. This is 50% regular all-purpose flour unbleached, then 50% ground dried pink lentil. Right. But you can add chickpea flour, you can add whole wheat flour, you can add buckwheat flour, so it depends on uh, your imagination. What's that? You can use olive oil. I'm using this for ease, but clarified butter is the traditional French way of making crepes. So you can use ghee, you can use coconut oil, you can use... Right. So it's starting to turn opaque. I'm just loosening up the sides. Okay. There we go. There we go. And there are samples as well. 
so you're welcome to help yourself. This is what I'm putting together. There's some forks and spoons, so help yourself. Yeah. They're all the same, yes. There are some other recipes in your uh, brochure today, and we'll be sampling those as well. Okay. I'm a left-hander, that's why I keep missing you.